All right, folks, let's see what we got going on in the shop today. <clears throat> a lot of stuff. Everything is a mess. Here uh, is the hydraulic cylinder off the backhoe. I'll start working on it on. I've got some other videos. Um, tore my ACL recently, so I'm not uh, moving quite as fast as usual. So this uh, has been leaking pretty bad, and it just got a whole lot worse. So um, I've got some uh, seals, and uh, we're going to rebuild her, just the seals anyways. I'm going to start just by cleaning everything up, it is terribly dirty. Alright, so I got a lot cleaner. A uh, pressure washer would have made uh, quick work on that, but I don't have a pressure washer. So uh, it's a lot cleaner. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start taking it apart. So what actually happened was the uh, this end cap started uh, threading itself on the machine. And I think that, that led to uh, a seal failure if I'm guessing there's an o-ring in here. Um, the actual seal was leaking as well. But the, uh, the last straw was it actually leaking from this cap because it had unthreaded itself. So it's already loose. So I don't have the proper tool to tighten this. So I'm just loosening it with this wrench. I'll get a proper tool or make a proper tool to tighten it when I put it back together. O-ring here. has uh, spots on it that are blown out and I think that was largely due to uh, this having loosened itself on the tractor. If that was it, I would be tempted just to uh, replace that o-ring. I could probably stretch it over that cap and call it good. Um, but before that, the uh, cylinder seal has been uh, leaking as well, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, replace everything that uh, I have in the seal kit. Since that's done. It's still unthreading. I think that's yeah, I think that's it. Socket, I'm guessing. You had a big breaker bar. Yeah, I wish I used. Oh, it's not going to rotate. Just make sure it doesn't move. Oh, of course. That one. Coffee mug is very fitting for the, the work, I believe. You got to put your pinky up as you're working on hydraulics. Put some oil in there. Bulletproof coffee. That's what it is, dude. Oh. oh okay. That'll Extra make your rope stronger. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I heard. That's why I did it. Proves the tensile strength by 200%. Yeah. I love this stuff. Yeah? Isn't it nice? I actually don't mind it. I know you're being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mind it. No, I think it's great. Rub it on plastics and rubber and stuff. It gets your skin all nice and supple and... Yeah, that's great. Down a thousand pounds of torque. Uh, what's that, a foot and a half? Well, I can probably do 400 pounds. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, plan A and B are no-go. we got probably plans, uh... What? <laughs> D through F. Just careful if it goes. It was almost. You don't pick me up. Don't. If it, if it goes, don't let it break for you. Know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Busted. No, I was off 
the ground. That's a thousand. Well, I might get a one inch drive and a ratchet. We'll park a car on one end and we'll both go on one end of the pipe. I, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't think it's going to take much more than that, do you? That breaker bar? I don't know, but I broke one of those with some weight on it. It was a is this three quarter inch drive or what's that? No, I think it might be the size smaller. So they do break. Alright, so it didn't get it to budge at all, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and heat it up. You're going to want to use a, a rosebud if you can. Um, this is a cutting torch tip uh, that I wouldn't recommend to use. Smells like fire! Yep. Attempts of uh, heating it up twice and uh, putting two 200 pound guys on the end of a seven foot cheater par. Couldn't get the uh, bolt off untorqued, so I went ahead and took it to the cat dealership. And uh, they tried with a one inch impact gun, wouldn't touch it. And uh, they had to ship it down to their other facility that has a uh, hydraulic machine. And they were able to uh, loosen it. So, uh, $115 later, here we are. Alright. So, it looks like really all you got to do is um, take out this uh, snap ring. To get this uh, outer seal out. This one is just completely rot, dry, hard and dry rotted and cracked uh, beyond belief. And then you've got some inner seals and some wear rings in there that looks like you don't have to uh, take the snap ring out for. But let's get the snap ring out, pull the seal out. There we go. So it's not going too well here. The uh, wiper seal here is uh, not coming out uh, very well. The uh, steel casing here, uh, I just I just can't get it pulled out, and I don't want to damage the uh, gland end here. So what I'm going to do, since I have a lathe, is I'm going to go ahead and chuck it in the lathe and um, basically just turn it out. Here we go. So the idea here is uh, to get that uh, metal part of the uh, gland seal to be thin enough so that I can def easily deform it and just pull it out. There we go. So I just took this tool and uh, slid it behind there and if, if I would have done that and forced it uh, before I started machining it 
it would have taken a lot more pressure if worse and it would have scored uh, the inside of that uh, surface there a whole lot more there we go and it'll just kind of pull out of there real easy so I've just got a very slight mark on there um, that'll kind of clean up with emery paper um, so I got it out um, if you didn't have a lathe you know you can keep on you know picking at that with uh, with your screwdriver or whatnot, but you're, you're risking damaging that uh, face and you know if you get it uh, too damaged uh, then it's not going to seal effectively. So I ordered a uh, seal kit from these guys, actually it was uh, Amazon or something, it was real cheap, it was like 16 bucks and I thought it was wrong, I went into the cat dealership and went ahead and gave them the serial number of the machine and had them order me a seal kit, and I get a uh, hundred and twenty something dollar seal kit OEM part from Caterpillar, and uh, it had the same issue. And what that issue was is the uh, seal in here. You see that ring in there? Well, the seal I pulled out of there was this seal right here. And, you know, I pull it out of there, and I pull out one piece, and I say to myself, well, I got the seal, and you could can't, could barely see, you know, behind the seal. And it looked, you know, like metal at the time. And um, I didn't realize that it was a two-part seal, and this was behind it. So when I compare all the seals and I go to compare this seal there we go to this seal I say to myself well that that sure isn't gonna work and uh, so I asked the guys I was like at the dealership I was like hey you know Maybe it's just me, but this doesn't look like it's going to fit. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, we stand there and scratch our head a little bit. And uh, he talks to some other folks, and then he comes back, and he's like, hey, he brings, uh, you know, some picks, and he's like, hey, you know, let's just make sure you got everything out of that uh, out of that groove. And I pick in there, and sure enough, I pull this guy out. And then he proceeds to tell me the story of this happening before in the customer getting super heated about uh, them selling him the wrong seals and telling them to figure it out after they had already told him make sure to make sure you get all the uh, seal material out of there and turns out he didn't just like I did but uh, anyways long story short everybody makes mistakes don't go making a big deal about us about something especially when you could be wrong but uh, anyway so I've got two seal kits so I'll uh, I'll probably put in the uh, cat OEM ones and I'll uh, keep the other ones for a spare. Maybe it'll fit another uh, cylinder on the tractor that's leaking, we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back together and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, torque her down and put her back on the tractor and we'll see how it goes. So I read through all the instructions that came with the uh, seal kit. And uh, one thing I had noticed that it addressed, which I'm glad it did, is the uh, land for this uh, seal is actually wider than the seal itself. And it emphasized that uh, that is okay. And uh, that the uh, new seal uh, may be narrower and that that won't have any, um, cause any sealing issues and that that's for design. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop, install this guy. Jeez, really? Still there? <laughs> Why would you do that? There you go, David.
hold this guy. Try to put it on. Let me know when you get all your weight on it. That's everything. Done. I think you can torque it when it's on the machine, that'll be easier. Use torque wrench. Cool. Completo. Thanks. That was like two months in the works. 